knickknacks and such. So, being that I'm a little camera shy, I think I'll just get behind the camera and narrate a walkthrough of the place. There's a lot of stuff to see. Uh, this is the main showroom that has various and sundry things, uh, including an enormous bronze horse. It's been here for quite a while. Uh, not much demand for it, it doesn't appear, but one day. Uh, these are our rolling racks of hardware. Uh, antiques like this are all around. Uh, the love tester. Squeeze the handle and it tells you what you are. Uh, let's see, more hardware. All sorts of random stuff. Big vase, let's see. Try to get a nice view of that. A lot of this stuff, since I work off-site, I just saw this, for instance, when I walked in. This is a huge bronze Santa. That's new from around here. It's not for sale. I guess it's just decorative. <laughs> but I hadn't seen that before. Uh, a lot of this stuff in here comes from my uncle's auction house. I think that's where a lot of the flower stuff came. He's down in Linden, Texas. Uh, we've got all sorts of the stained glass for hanging in windows. Let's see. All sorts of little furniture knickknacks. We used to uh, build furniture here. My dad did, and then he wholesaled furniture that the local builders built. But that business has kind of died out, and now we're doing hardware. And what you see here, let's see, some nice tables. A lot of leaded glass. We carry a lot of leaded glass. And then now to the main uh, hardware displays. These cabinets have, I don't know how many drawers, what, six times four? 24 drawers apiece, and they were built by a local builder, and they display our brand of hardware. These are the glass knob collections. This looks like some Liberty stuff coming up. The wall of wall plates. Miscellany. A lot of pools. Basically, this is the main showroom. They pick and pack upstairs. Some, one of the girls comes down and helps customers. Here's drawer slides. Drawer slides. More leaded glass all the way across the top. Let's see. More leaded glass everywhere. My dad has a good decorating sense. <laughs> uh, wall of hinges. Miscellaneous stuff. Let's see up that directions where the pick and pack department is and up those stairs there But that's not too exciting. This is the bargain room A lot of people wanted to see this or would have, are excited when they come in here Most of this stuff is brand new except for maybe it got scuffed in shipment a lot of stuff uh, Is perfectly fine, but a customer decided they didn't like them after opening all 30 or 33 so then they're unsaleable and somebody else's lucky find. Through here, this is where the mess starts, but there's all sorts of random hardware and appliques and stuff before we get back to the smalls area. Lighting, uh, more safety bars, tools, drill bits. This isn't our main line. We don't really have any of this stuff online even, but... Uh, we get it on closeouts from here or there, or good deals, and then we sell it locally. Uh, empty shelves, staging. Let's see. All right, now back to the part that a lot of you were interested in. We've got all sorts of Smith glass, Westmoreland, Fenton, Carnival, Car or excuse me, Carnival glass. Uh, what is this? This is uh, a lot of this. He's got your real uranium glass in here which uh, won't hurt you, but where's the light here? It glows in the dark, it's pretty cool. This might not be plugged in anymore. The demand for this stuff has gone way down. So we have a lot of it, but we don't sell too much anymore. It's fun to walk through and see though, let's see. A lot of cut glass, Turkish cut glass. Used to be big in the 90s when I was a little kid. Uh, I guess I can throw in a family tidbit here. This aisle, this long aisle, all the way back there and all the way to the front. As a kid, I learned uh, 
quite a bit of work ethic from my father and when customers were here and needed something I, he would sprint this aisle five, ten times a day, as many times as it needed if somebody needed something. If they needed a question answered, he sprinted down this aisle. And I remember watching him. And so, uh, you know, I learned from that, of course. Uh, I believe all this right here is Smith glass. The other stuff, I'm not sure what it was, but this section over here is Smith glass. Uh, 50 years is official antique. A lot of it's getting close, if not already antique. Uh, let's see. A lot of signage, John Deere, Coca-Cola, 50s type stuff. You can see down there that, that way there's some more, a lot of signs, uh, Americana type sign stuff. A lot of ceramic stuff, a lot of, uh, we've got a lot of Thomas Kincaid scenery here, official real Thomas Kincaid stuff. Uh, I think we had, used to have a much larger selection because it's a popular item, so it's sold out of the years. A bunch of wall adornments and whatnot. Coca-Cola official gear. Fiesta wear. Uh, we had a ton of Fiesta wear. I mean, trailers full of it. And I think probably those 15 pictures are the last thing that's left. The phrenology heads on the website. We sell a lot of those, actually. A lot of professors buy those, I can see on the order sheets. More John Deere stuff, more wall adornment. Marbles. Marbles used to be a hot commodity. Uh, not so much anymore, I don't think. But, uh, let's see. Ford marbles, Pepsi marbles. Salts. Let's see through here. Teapots, tea sets. Uh... What's that? Enamelware? It's not really enamelware. I can't think of the name of that stuff right now. There's a name for the name for the style here. But uh you can see we've got a lot of it anyways. It's not coming to me off the top of my head. Some nice big pieces down here. Let's see. More marbles. Let's see. We got so much stuff, I'm just kind of breezing by a lot of it, but you could spend hours in here, and people do. It's kind of interesting for me because I'm not here that often anymore, so some of this stuff's new, and it's, I haven't seen it in a while. <laughs> like these old irons. Look at this. Real, actual old irons. Can I zoom out here? I mean, that's heavy. And clonk somebody with that. <laughs> so, two boxes of those for some reason. Let's see. Candle holders, <laughs> super old stuff, basically junk. Bunch of old mechanical banks and toys and stuff. Let's see. Put the penny there. Guy moves. There you go. He takes the penny and drops it down below. So you go like, put the penny there. Hit this. He hides it. And it drops down to the bank. So all sorts of these things. That guy eats the penny. Let's see. Cast iron. This is the cast iron aisle. Lots of cast iron. A bunch of little baseball bats. Like I said, it's there's all sorts of everything. Here's some Christmas decor. More uh, Coca-Cola stuff. This is official Coca-Cola stuff. No rip-offs or anything. Uh, old postcards. <laughs> Flags from the 96 Atlanta Olympics, a pile. I don't think the demand for those is going to go up anytime soon. Let's see. More marbles, more cast iron, tin toys, candle holders, little jewelry boxes, more tin toys, more tin toys, more cast iron. A bunch of sports snow globes. We had a ton of those too. I was putting those on eBay when I was in high school. So, <laughs> we've about sold them all though now finally it looks like. And now we get back to here. This is where the old hardware department used to be actually when I was in high school. That little room right there was the manager Roberta's office. A uh, great manager and she is still with us. That little room there was where the t only two customer service people uh, worked. Uh, now it's the photo room. Let's see. A bunch of wooden chickens and such. 
this right here where we've got all these old prints and frames uh, this was where we did all the picking and packing well actually just the packing all these shelves here with the cut glass uh, this was all hardware and little pick boxes for us to pick the lighting's not that great back here these days but now it's all filled with glassware you can see some of the detail on these old big wood frames Ooh, very nice prints, mirrors prints galore this used to be big business having prints uh, a lot of this stuff we were moving so much in the 90s or early 2000s when flea markets were big that when they that market kind of went away real quick and we've still got some of it so it's real cool but now there's not many people in the market for thousands and thousands of prints let's see more prints more prints more prints old furniture random little sets of animals let's see and storage lamps smattering of furniture there's not much left anymore some of this stuff I have no idea where it came from a lot more ceramic wear back here oh actually this is real fiesta wear too so there is more left than I thought but this has got to be it this little line of it here I think we have some of the pictures online but there's not enough quantity of the rest to do anything with more leaded glass maybe damaged since they're back here hiding nice painting of some sort and I know a lot of people were interested in the frames we've got a bunch of barn wood frames down here where are they at Oh, there's some barnwood frames. They're kind of scattered around. Old books. More frames. More leaded glass. Uh, these might be D. Wallace made cabinets from back in the day. Oh, no, never mind. Made by Davis. We used to make stuff like this, though. Re reproductions before we went into the hardware. So, without spending all day, I don't know if there's an aisle I haven't been up, uh, through that door is Truvex glass and more hardware, but that's for another day. Gloves. Oh yeah, the ugliest thing you've ever seen. We've been laughing about this thing for years. It came in on a random trailer of closeouts or something. We have we put it on the website as a joke and have sold some of them. Uh, who knows to who? Hat pins. Well, people like the Smith glass. Let me go back by it from the other direction and then we'll finish up here. Slag glass. Uh, said iridized, every color, every finish. Camels, ladies, baskets. Let's see, get up here close on one of these nice iridized pieces. This, pieces like this is what made us decide to come out with the carnival glass knobs because we walk up and down this aisle and we see this pink this beautiful pink right here and it's a popular carnival glass knob and there's the cobalt blue that the cobalt blue one's modeled after Let's see I'm trying to get back I don't know how well you can see this glass on a quick walk by but there's a ton of it and miscellaneous junk that is for sale <laughs> now back to the office to finish up my mother's office my office when I'm here anyways big board of ideas and the boss man's office looking surprisingly clean like he knew I was coming but he didn't so uh... <laughs> but let's see now we're back where we started by the horse 
And uh, I don't know. Thank you for being being interested. Uh, I hope uh, this is what people wanted to see. Thanks.